The Fios Sports Desk is sponsored by Fios by Verizon. Fios is not cable. We're wired differently. The Yankees entered the day on a three-game losing streak. They had lost 17 of their last 22 games and were four and a half games behind the first-place Red Sox. New York was in desperate need of a win today against the Brewers at the stadium. Luis Severino on the mound for the Bombers, and things did not start well. First inning, two men on for Domingo Santana. He takes Severino deep to right, goes over the wall. The Yankees trail 3-0. And that was Severino's only mistake. He settles down and works seven strong innings. The young all-star also finished with 10 strikeouts, keeping the Yankees in the game. Rookie Clint Frazier has only been with the team for a week, and he has already provided a few big hits. Bottom seventh, pinstripes down two. Frazier hits a blast to left center, going off the wall. Jacoby Ellsbury coming around the score. Frazier ends up with a triple in the ninth. Now Yankees down one, two men on. Frazier does it yet again. A little deja vu. The rookie hitting a three-run walk-off homer, playing the hero for the Bombers as they prevail. 5-3 the final. It's probably just surpassed uh, the first home run that I had. You know, I mean, this is a, a really special one with a, a special group of guys, and it's my first walk-off home run in my professional career. So it's it's a really cool one for for me, the team, and my family to you know all see today. I mean, that's that's a big win. Um, you know, Clint at bats all day were good. Um, and you know, to hit a three-run walk-off homer, I mean, we, we needed that. Great win for the Yankees. Meanwhile, the Mets have placed outfielder Brandon Nimmo on the 10-day disabled list with a partially collapsed lung. And the Amazons recalled Michael Conforto for this afternoon's game against the Cardinals. The Mets looking for their second straight win on the road in St. Louis. Zach Wheeler on the mound for the Amazons. And in the third, Paul DeYoung takes him deep to left center. It's gone. Count it for DeYoung's eighth of the season. The Cardinals take a 1-0 lead with Jay Bruce. Well, he has since homered for the Mets. So right now, they trail 2-1 in the seventh. Let's talk a little tennis. Third round excitement at Wimbledon continuing today. The women's top seed, Anjali Kerber, advanced, as does American Coco Vandeweghe. And on the men's side, there were a few big names looking to advance to the round of 16. Three-time champion Novak Djokovic defeating Ernestis Gulbis of Latvia in three straight sets. And this was probably the shot of the match. Djokovic showing off his quickness and gets it to fall. Count that for a winner. Novak advances to play Adrian Manorino, the third seed. And seven-time Wimbledon champion Roger Federer also advanced in straight sets. He'll face Grigor Dimitrov in the next round. And finally, Tim Hardaway Jr. will officially rejoin the Knicks after the Hawks declined to match the Knicks' offer on the restricted free agent. The Hawks notified the Knicks today before the 48-hour deadline passed. Hardaway will reportedly sign a four-year, $71 million deal with New York. The Knicks traded him away two years ago. The last two seasons, he turned into a legitimate scorer despite questions about his defense. So we will see him soon at the Garden. And that wraps up sports. We'll be right back.